It's that time again, boys and girls, for another episode of Dead Bugs Killer News. Wherever there's pain and misery in the world, I will be there. And this installment of Killer News takes us to Auckland, New Zealand, a place so far away that no one cares about. A local family from the suburbs just outside of Auckland found themselves in a bit of an embarrassing situation after buying the contents of a storage locker in an online auction. This is where people bid on people's abandoned possessions in these lockers. A great way to profit on other people's misery and suffering. But when the family brought the contents of the container home and started opening it on the front lawn, excited to see the bounty that may come their way. When the teenage son opened up two of the suitcases, to his horror, there were two dead children in them. They figured the children, who were aged from 4 to 10, had been in the suitcases for at least 4 years. So I'm guessing there wasn't much left but soup. A neighbor said that the smell was horrible. Well, you know, they got a good excuse. From the post-mortem examination, it would appear that we're of primary school age. At this stage, I have no further information about their exact age, but we're working on it. Their bodies were concealed in two suitcases of similar size. Early indications suggest these children may have been deceased for a number of years before being found last week. We also believe these suitcases have been in storage for a number of years. From what cops gathered, the kids were South Korean. How can they tell that? And someone who might be their mother left in 2018 and went back to South Korea. Huh. I guess you like to travel lightly. Well, there you have it, boys and girls. Move along. There's nothing more to see. This has been another installment of Dead Bugs Killer News.